Okay, one of the graphs, it's entirely plausible, unless you think just a little harder. It looks like this. Okay? Now that's a very plausible polynomial graph, isn't it? But there are flaws. Okay? And actually, let me go ahead and, and yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I want to use a color that's easy to get rid of. You don't know how far down they go, and you don't go. No, no, not all that easy to get rid of. I'll do this in purple. I just didn't know how to draw it. I did it correctly. Because we really don't want it. Because uh, so far, everything huh? matches up Thanks. with the picture we have, right? But what's going to go wrong very quickly? That never goes positive, and that never goes positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we continue this process, this thing's going to go positive, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say this is going to go positive. No way. Also, it's going to be zero here, right? No way. How could it be zero here when neither of these is zero? Right? Mm -hmm. Value of this function is a positive number. Value of this function is a negative number. Neither one of them is zero. You can't multiply two numbers and get zero unless one of them, or even both, is zero, right? Yeah. Okay, so it can't do that. Well, now that's kind of what it looked like with some of the graphs I drew last time, isn't it? So it's reasonable that you would do that if you stop thinking at this point and at this point, <laughs> right? So, what you're basically saying is maybe the polynomial starts up past, past the uh, x-axis, like it starts positive and then works its way down. Yeah, although on the left here it's got to be negative, right? Yeah. Okay? So what's going to happen is it has to come up from negative numbers to hit the zero, right? And then after it goes through here, it's got to go down to negative numbers again because you're negative, right? Uh -huh. The other thing is, what's happening to the magnitude, meaning the absolute value, you know, how big the numbers are, whether positive or negative, what's happening to how big the numbers are as you go to the left? Once you get past this zero, this number's getting bigger, negative, but it's getting bigger, and so is this one, right? If they're both getting bigger, when you multiply them, the result's getting bigger. <laughs> right? If you multiply a number that's not getting bigger by a number that's getting bigger, it gets bigger, right? So if you multiply a number that's getting bigger, my number's getting bigger, it gets bigger. Bigger. Okay? It means it gets big much faster and faster. Okay? And you can think about that a little bit. But that means you're going to have to be going down on this side. And it's got to go down more and more rapidly. Okay? That's called end behavior. You read about that in your text. Okay. Well, then at the same time, wouldn't the height of that polynomial will be much higher? Well, let's see positives? what happens here. Well, you're in the negatives here, aren't you? No, in the positives. Uh, let, we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay. Okay. But let, let's, let's look at the end behavior, because that's where this graph fell short. Okay? Well, this graph fell short because, again, you're not going to go into the positives. and You can't hit zero. It can't be zero unless one of these functions hits zero, right? Because the only way you're going to get a zero is for either this one to be zero, which happens here, or this one to be zero, right? So you're right, it does go through zero here and here because one function or the other is zero at each of these points. But let's think about the end behavior now. Well, it's the same thing. This one's getting bigger, a bigger negative, but it's getting bigger, right? And this one's getting bigger. So you got something that's getting, a positive that's getting bigger and a negative that's getting bigger. When you multiply them, you're going to get a negative. And it's going to be getting bigger. It's going to be getting bigger, faster, and faster. 
So on the end here, it's got to go like this. Okay? Now in the middle, between here and here, well, it's got to get from zero back to zero. And polynomial curves are smooth. So it's going to look very much like this. But if I was going to draw this thing, depending on the scale, I could draw it this steep here, but I don't want to draw it that steep because I don't want it to look like it's getting vertical. So for that reason and only that reason, I'm going to draw it a little less steep. Than Okay, I'm going to draw it like this. Okay? And the arrows indicate that what's happening here and here is it's getting bigger. Negative bigger, but still bigger. Okay, getting negative and going... It's getting negative faster and faster. Okay? The slope is... The magnitude of the slope is approaching infinity. Okay, uh, and we don't worry about the, the, too much about the idea of approaching infinity, but sometimes we need to talk about it. So this would be our h of x. At least this would be a plausible h of x. Now, depending what you think the scale is, you might make it steeper here so it go up higher, right? You might make it less steep here so it doesn't go up as high. Okay, you don't know. But until what, we put a scale on it. But wouldn't it be higher where the two red points meet than where they are? Now let's talk about that. <laughs>